Alright, listeners, we're gonna get active in just a little bit, so stay tuned. We have something relaxing and good for your core strength. So stay tuned if you want to get involved and find out more about this. Rachel's here and she's brought a guest, so stay tuned. But we're going to kick you off with a song from Supreme Team, and it's Get Ready. Okay, get ready from Supreme Team, and we're definitely ready for a healthier, more active 2018. I keep thinking it's 2017. <laughs> but anyway, Rachel's here. How are you? I'm good. With a little, How... like, remnants of your cold. Yeah, I got a little bit of a cold going, but otherwise I'm great. How are you today? I am not bad. Not bad, you know, January's underway. Mm -hmm. And you brought a guest with you today. I did. So let's introduce him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and let him introduce himself. He's relatively new to town, but he has some really cool things to offer. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, my name is Val, and um, I'm from Germany. And I just arrived like two months ago to Guangzhou, so it's all pretty new still. So. Okay, so welcome to Guangzhou, and thanks for joining us on the show. What brought you to Guangzhou? Why are you here? Uh, What's going on? My girlfriend got a job in the Guangzhou International School, and I just mm -hmm. kind of followed her, I guess. Teaching German? <laughs> Teaching English. She's ah, American. Okay. Ooh. And uh, I just quit my job in Switzerland and just came here with her. <laughs> so what are you doing here now? <laughs> Um, just kind of freelancing. I have a Facebook page and I'm physiotherapist, so I'm just kind of like going around and mm. see um, when people are sick, they can find me. Ah, so <laughs> Or I find them somehow. So you are a trained physiotherapist. I'm physical therapist. I'm licensed in Germany and I got my diploma from the Netherlands. Okay. So. And do you need some physiotherapy? <laughs> I see your, your hand is wrapped yeah, what there. there? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I bumped my thumb a little bit. Might need some physio, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of trying to do it myself, but not sure if that works so well. Oh. That looks like more than a bump. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks a lot worse than it actually <laughs> is, I think. I just, yeah, kind of strained it a little bit. Mm. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. And <laughs> so, Val... Sorry, your name is... Valentine, right? yes. Valentine. And ah. short for Val. Okay. Well, I <laughs> like, saw so many names here. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, is it Franz? No. Is it Willem? Yeah, that's like all the three names I really have, but... My okay. parents took it really far that there. That is a lot of names. <laughs> Valentin, Franz, Willem, yeah, Nerding. It's, it's all from my family it's and a lot. related. <laughs> Everybody, grandpa and uncles <laughs> yeah. involved in there. Um, so welcome to Guangzhou, as you said, and you're a trained physiotherapist in another country. So I'm not too sure what that means in Korea. <laughs> but um, how has everything been going? It's really cold. And also you mentioned that you're from Germany, but you studied in the Netherlands. And now is it your first time in living in Asia? It's my first time, yeah. That's kind of why we got here as well, because we're wanting to get out of Europe, <laughs> kind of trying something new, and just that's Korea was a good option. Kind of How's option. that going for you? Are you liking it? Is it so very far, different? Yeah, so far it's all right. Uh, it's kind of cold now. It's a little snowy. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's but you just got bit. back from Thailand yeah, as well. Really warm. So. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> Lots really. of fun Asian experiences already. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I've experienced some traveling through China and Kazakhstan and stuff before I got here. So, yeah, Asia is pretty good so far. Be very yeah. careful. There is a lot of colds and flus going <laughs> on. So don't want you to get sick. But you're here today to talk more about Pilates and yoga and fitness. And we're going to find out that from you later. Now, Rachel, always interesting story. How did you meet? I actually met him on Facebook because I heard about his awesome classes. Mm -hmm. um, but I, and today was our first time meeting in person, but I know his girlfriend because mm -hmm. we're in the French club together. Ooh. And she's really awesome. So I just put it together today that they are that he is the boyfriend I've heard about so much. So. <laughs> oh, you! Yeah. Oh, I was clicking okay. in my brain. Oh, okay, this makes sense. <laughs> so that works. And we're going to find out more about your history and also, I guess, how you got involved in kind of doing Pilates and yoga and why it's good for your body. And also, you run classes? 
Mm -hmm. And that's how you get involved. Is it at the GIC? It is. Okay, because I remember we interviewed the girl who was doing it before. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure if she's left. She just stopped. That's why I'm kind of taking over her slot. Taking over that slot. Awesome. So listeners, uh, if you don't like those high-intensity gym workouts and you want to do something a little bit more relaxing but good for your core strength, we've got all the information coming up for you in just a little bit. But so we need to take a song break at the moment and we're going to be very peaceful and a little crazy as well. We've got <laughs> Bjork with It's Oh So Quiet and then Enya's The Long, Long Journey. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right. Enya and Bjork there for you. And I guess for Val, it's been a long journey getting to Korea. I see you put a whole bunch of interesting adventures in here. Uh, We're going to find out more about that after the break, but how about, you know, yoga and Pilates? Rachel, why did you decide that this is going to be the focus on today's show? Well, I think yoga, I love, first of all, I love yoga and Pilates, and I think that they're, I'm sure Val would agree with this, but I kind of feel like they're a husband and wife, like they work really well together. Pilates works on your core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yoga is more stretching, and he's a professional, so he'll talk about this. Of course, yoga is more than stretching. But anyway, I love them, and I think it's really awesome that they have classes in English now at the GIC. I've been taking Pilates classes in Korean, which has been fun for my Korean. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of... It's been fun for my Korean, (laughs) not for me. (laughs) No, it's been fun for me as well. But I think um, a lot of people that might be intimidated by that would be are going to be very excited to have an English option here in Gwangju. Yeah, I think you raised an important point there. Like, what is the difference between yoga and Pilates before we go into break? So, like, well, yoga is much older, first Mm -hmm. of all. Like, it's been around for many, many years. Pilates is much more recent. And it's more about the actual, like, um, core strength and, like, the like um, controlling your muscles and activating the muscles that are like important for your core strength. So every that's everything that's kind of in the abdominal region, but more like deeper muscles that actually stabilize the spine. And yoga, I'm not super specialist on yoga, let's say. Like, but like for me, it's more like stretching and like meditation and things that are coming around with that it's a little bit more spiritual yeah but many people Pilates used to be like that as well like Pilates when he started it wanted to have much more of a mindful and bodiness experience Mm -hmm. as well but it kind of got lost just because of the nature of the Pilates and the exercise I think in a lot of ways it's kind of like it's gotten lost a little bit the mindfulness in Pilates and um, it's like a lot of times just kind of like a workout session but I think it's supposed to be more more mindfulness, more body experience than as well. It's, and yeah. you offer both. So when people yeah. go to your class, you're going to be doing like a little bit of yoga, oh. like mixed, or is it kind of like for the first 30 minutes, we're going to do this, and the second 30 minutes, we're going to do that? Um, I think we're just going to mix it like together. So like it's, it, it can go hand in hand as you're, as you're doing Pilates, you can do much more of like meditation and things like that as well at the same time, just because you're kind of relaxing through muscle activation kind of things. And you can do this in like a connective way. And the poses lend themselves well to blending it. Like yeah. you can do something in Pilates and easily transition to a yoga pose yeah. without having extra equipment or like having to move your body Yeah, I think that's really, really a good mixture of both so that you are kind of like getting a variety of exercises but focusing on your core. And also you can get to meet a whole bunch of great people as well. Interesting life stories. We're going to find out more after the break at how to get active, when the classes are, and all of the pertinent information that you need to know. But we're going to play you out with Iori's Black. And then we have some commercial breaks and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere, listeners. Stay with us right here on GFN. Okay, Leon Bridges there with smooth sailing, and we're sailing into the afternoon here. We're going to talk more about yoga and Pilates and how to get involved because there are some new classes starting up at the GIC. I'm here with Rachel and Val. Now, I know that the previous teacher was female. And generally when we think about yoga and Pilates, it's like there's a female instructor there. So how is it? Are there many gentlemen that do Pilates? Or <laughs> I think so. Or I've... have you started your classes yet? And like, I, what's I the reception? Ha- I haven't started the classes yet. Mm-hmm. And um, 
so I don't really know, but I think it's mostly, it's still mostly female based, just because maybe men like some more other activities and weightlifting, maybe. I'm not know. really sure. I have some like male yogi friends that are like jacked. They I can think... do all the crazy poses. Oh, yeah. and... Generally, we have the perception this is, you know, male exercise, this is female exercise, guys go to the gym, but I think many people, they just focus on bulking up or getting muscles but they don't really focus on you know strengthening the muscle mm-hmm. or like Lengthening, stretching yeah. um like really really getting down to it and i think these days a lot of people are turning towards uh, incorporating yoga and pilates into their exercise because it can really work other areas of your body that you know weights can't get to Mm. necessarily um so val was uh, around the world and he's so busy how do you fit this all in <laughs> to your schedule you have like a bachelor of science in physiotherapy and then you're doing these classes and you're also going to be doing online studying <laughs> when did like health and fitness become a big part of your life um so i started already teaching volleyball when i was very young mm-hmm. like um I was 11 years old i played and then i kind of took over a team when I was 15 and um, yeah it was just kind of like always around I guess just um, health and fitness and everything that goes with it goes along with it was always sort of an importance um, to myself and then I just kind of continued continued with it I started studying after I traveled and then I just and you're also doing kind of, do you still do this? I see you mentioned here that you do and write and translate for blog. Uh, yeah, so I'm starting actually within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to start again. I've done it when I was in university, when I was less busy, let's say. Like I was just kind of like doing it as a side gig mm-hmm. um, for a blog called Anatomy and Physiotherapy. And I was also like for other kind of, with, with my professors that were... Um, that owned that blog and now i'm kind of restarting again all right and uh that's pretty cool so you just kind of uh chilling out at home doing some yoga and pilates and watching youtube and so on um now i do understand that uh your classes started yesterday right so So when is it what time is it somebody's like i want to go there so it's always Tuesday evenings at 7 and Thursday mornings at 11 at the GIC. Thursday mornings too. Oh, that's nice for the Hagwan crew. Yeah, that's what, yeah. I, that's what we thought that mm-hmm. would be nice to have as well. Producer, you want to go do some yoga and Pilates <laughs> on a Thursday morning? You need to strengthen your core muscles. Our producer just had a baby. Yeah. So she... Bring the... You should start like, mom, you know what? Here's a business <laughs> idea. A lot of Korean moms, they're just at home playing with their babies. Start like a yoga for moms and babies. It's Teach right. your kids Do how to stretch. Do they bring the babies? Yes. Like baby yoga? Mommy and oh, me that would be yoga. Lovely, yes. That would be pretty cute. <laughs> how to stretch your baby, you know? You can kind of lift the baby as you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Use it like, as a weight. <laughs> because my friend also had a baby and her child is around. 10 kilograms now and she's Please. like complaining I have backache because yeah. my child is so heavy and I have to carry she's only like 9 months oh, old yeah. so you can teach moms how to use their baby as a weight there stay you go. fit in the house and <laughs> strengthen your fat muscle as well um, is it free? do we have to pay? or is it only like for members of the GIC? So it's free as you go, but it's like it's usually pay as you feel, so donation based kind of oh, thing. It's one of those. So, I mean, I still. That's nice. Kind of have to make a living somehow. Yeah. <laughs> we the suggested. <laughs> it's, you should put there the suggested tipping. <laughs> yeah, a it's suggested amount. Not much suggested. Fifty dollar. Whatever people think, feel like paying, I think is fair enough. For, I think people appreciate the service that you're offering as well. Like you know. They'll they'll donate. I can't imagine going to something and being like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to not donate. I brought you an <laughs> apple today. <laughs> Good for you. Um, and do we need to prepare anything? You know, many people uh, get question. their yoga mat or they go out and buy the outfit. They're like, I need these pants <laughs> and this top and mm. all of these things. All, all you need really is the mat because I don't have that many mats for everyone. I have a couple of spare mats, but not that many. It's just a mat. And clothes that you feel comfortable in. Don't need any specific brand, no. Is it? (laughs) I know a a very big trend, and I think our producer did this, was like flying yoga. 
<laughs> where oh, you electric pee something in the air. It looks so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Um, I really want to like, try Or it. there's like Korean heated yoga type situation. The hot uh, yoga. The hot in yoga the kind of thing. Yeah. Inside, Ooh, inside of a gymjabong? No, in, I don't know. I don't know how they heat the room. Because <laughs> hot yoga is a thing like, yes. everywhere. Hot yoga, yeah. I know, yeah. It's winter. It's you cold. Sweating. You can be. That's I'm not nice. like a really big fan of it, though. I can do it for like an hour, but the really long ones, I just feel like you get too dehydrated. Yeah, I had a 90 minute class once where I felt like I was going to pass out at the end. Mm, I've mm-hmm. only done it once or twice, but yeah. yeah. All of these options, listeners, I get 10% because I gave you the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy and me for yoga, the baby yoga. And Pilates. <laughs> uh, maybe get the dads involved too. There are these days a lot of stay at home dads. Dad Pilates. Doing what they want to do, right? Or Dad Pilates. Even, I guess you can try to do, I think it Pop would be Pilates. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think mommy and me yoga. People will pay a lot of money for that. There's a lot of moms out there who are like, I just want to hang out with my baby. And how about if you do the, um, I guess, at your desk? Because Korean companies or people in Korea generally have really long working hours. So mm-hmm. maybe they want to do a couple of exercises at their desk. Mm-hmm. It can be like yoga for the office. That could be, yeah. <laughs> they do could have chair idea, yoga yeah. out there in the world. What's that? It's mostly for the elderly that can't move as much, but it's like yoga that you chair do yoga? from a chair. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a thing. He's Sounds absorbing. And then, you know, <laughs> three weeks later, we're like, really YouTube. Sure, yeah. I have all of these options, you know, listeners. That Sorry, I Val, do. we're just inundating you with all ideas. Right. Yeah, I mean, just keep going. I don't really know it. <laughs> My favorite is Papa Pilates, though. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, dads Papa get involved Pilates. with the kids, oh, moms with the kids. And you can definitely learn how to use your baby to help you kind of do as, some exercises. Yeah, as long as it's not moving around too right. much. Right, yeah, that's the yeah. trick. That's a little bit the trick, no? That's how you keep it mixed up, you know? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's also balance exercise as well. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just don't drop your baby, everyone. <laughs> so what do you think, <laughs> listeners? How about some different yoga ideas? Will you go to that? Maybe we can get a kind of census of what people are thinking out mm-hmm. there. We are going to find out some more about yoga and Pilates and the mindfulness of it and also some of the other things that go along it's not just show up and do that maybe there will be some meditation or more spiritual side to it as well uh, we are going to take a song break right now with Ponyver and Hallucine and then Frankie goes to Hollywood because we need to relax okay listeners two songs there for you now we need to wrap up very quickly um, anything else that you want to add about yoga or Pilates and also kind of those last minute ways to get in contact with you Val well you can find me on my Facebook page so it's Val's International Physiotherapy that's my Facebook page and I have can a you spell group. that and please. it's Val V-A-L-L-E right yeah that's kind okay. of my nickname that I have on Facebook okay. V-A-L-L-E yeah and then Val Val's S International Physiotherapy. You need to shorten that. I'll share it as well, everyone. <laughs> Rachel always so. shares it, and I'll, I'll share will the page. Reshare. Right. It's a very long name. <laughs> yeah. And, or you just type in yoga slash Pilates with Val. That's mm. shorter. That's okay. the that's the Facebook group. Um, that you can also find the groups, the and postings, and everything. If that goes you want along to um, go to GIC, it's seven p.m. on a Tuesday evening, exactly. so you can just rock up at the GIC. Any, you yeah. don't need to reserve or no, just a little bit in advance, so that, you know, don't come at seven. Right. Come yeah. like five, ten five minutes, minutes before, early. so you can prepare and like chill out for a second. I don't want to have the direct rush from the outside into the room. That's you need Always to little, heat your body. You know, just mm-hmm. kind of Relax. chill out for a second and get in the mood. And then also 11 a.m. on a Thursday, That's right? It, 11 yes. a.m. on Thursdays. And uh, also, I think the GIC will have the information on their website or their Facebook group. Yeah. So you can definitely go check those out. Um, and yeah. it's a donation it's kind of service, donation based, yes. Give okay, a donation, feel. everyone. And you don't need to prepare much, just some. Clothes for you to relax in, and also um, 
there are some mats, but I think yoga mat is really cheap to they're, get. It yeah, is. Yeah, they're cheap. Do you need Daiso a, you just bring a towel? Anywhere, yeah. No, I think you want I a mat. I think you want a mat because you don't want to slip. Around. You don't want to like move around and stuff. To towels are just gonna be like sliding on the floor. Yeah. Maybe you need to bring a Too towel much. if you're oh, gonna maybe. sweat. Yeah, that maybe would, a towel right? and a mat. That would be nice. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So, anything else that you would like to add before we wrap up about why people should maybe join your class or the importance of Pilates and yoga? I think it would be, I mean, if you're interested in getting a little bit of active and a little bit of uh, getting to know your body a little bit more, I think that's the main message of Pilates at the bigger picture. So, I mean, it's just kind of like self-awareness and uh, connecting that with like mindfulness and spirituality a little bit. That's what I'm trying to uh, to teach in, in the classes. And uh, if you have any ongoing uh ongoing problems or anything else you can just uh, hit me a message before maybe as well and before you go to the classes and then i can try to incorporate that maybe even so that. yeah and if you maybe have some problem that you need your physical therapy sorted out That's... you can definitely in english yeah in english, that's a really great thing. or spanish french or german Okay, listeners. <laughs> <If you want. laughs> all of the above. So maybe you need to kind of check that out as well, listeners, because sometimes you do go to a physiotherapist and there's a lot of Korean or the doctors don't really speak English. And so maybe you can consult with For sure, them. yeah, that's also an option. I do usually home visits and I have everything that goes with it. Ooh. Also do cupping therapy if anyone cool. is interested is... in that. That's like the traditional... Oh, okay. You can... Traditional Korean and Chinese That's medicine scary. idea. Have you done cupping? I have not done cupping. I've seen the marks left from cupping, but uh, very fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's cool. I'd be curious to try it one of these days. Mm -hmm. It's fun and it really, really, especially to release the tension. Oh yeah. And I've been to some places where they kind of do the cupping, and then afterwards they're like. Punching holes in you to let the blood out. Oh. You should try I'd, from yeah. a you know traditional Korean um, medicine place hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so be very careful, listeners, and remember to if you want to get in shape for summer or start a little bit of an easier workout before going into other things or something to complement your other workout in the gym. You can definitely check this out, and you can go on 7 p.m. on. Uh, Tuesdays at the GIC downtown or 11 a.m. on a Thursday. Thank you very much, guys, for coming in today. Yeah, thanks, Val. You yeah, you're welcome. have been very informative. Uh, please do come back if you want to talk about anything else or sure. if you've done other things in the world. And, Rachel, I hope you get better. Thank you. Go to the doctor. Maybe you need some of his yeah. physiotherapy. Ooh, I'm Maybe. not sure if I can help with the cough. <laughs> yeah. You I'm need some yoga. these massage techniques. Yeah. <laughs> it will help you get better. I hope your hand gets better as well. So thank you very much to our producer and to our engineer. You guys are awesome. And I will see you again tomorrow. And GFN has a great lineup coming up for you throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.